Got your micro bit and looking for project ideas? Well in this tutorial we'll make a scratch micro bit fruit circuit. We'll go from zero to hero and have those fruit pieces humming in harmony in no time. Coming up. Hello world, Surfing Scratcher here, teacher surfer programmer, bringing you the goodness of learning to code through video tutorials. If that sounds like something that you're into, consider hitting that subscribe button. All right, here's what you're gonna need for this tutorial. A micro bit that's powered by USB or a battery pack. You're gonna need four alligator clips and cables. Hey, nice mustache. Whoa, look out, four paper clips. Bless you. You need four pieces of fruit, boom. And of course, scratch. I've got all the tech materials set up in a kit on kit.com. Support this channel by checking the link in the description. But hey, let's make some fruity tunes. I've created this scratch micro bit simulator that will just display some feedback on the stage here, but you can use an empty project. I've got a link to this simulator in the description below if you want to check it out. Let's connect up our micro bit. If you need some help with this, I've got a card in the top corner for you right now to go check out. All right, let's just have a little refresher on the pins. We've got the pin zero here, one and two, that we can connect to. We can also connect to the ground pin. And when we have a alligator clip or something connected to a pin number and the ground, we complete a circuit. So that basically means that we're transferring energy in a circuit through the micro bit from the battery. Let's make our first circuit. I've got this yellow alligator clip here that we're gonna to use to make our first circuit. First, let's connect to the ground. All right, our alligator clip is now connected to the ground. Watch what happens when I touch the zero pin. Boom, pin zero connected. We can do the same thing for the other pins. Now this just works on the simulator because I've already got it set up. Now currently we've just got one cable here that we're using to complete our circuit. We can introduce a second cable to help us out. Let's do that. As you can see here, I've got the red cable connected to pin zero and the yellow cable connected to the ground. Now if we connect the two ends of these cables, we should have a completed circuit. Yeehaw, pins connected. Now if I go in and touch the ends of these two cables, we should have a completed circuit. That's because I conduct electricity, just like you. All right, we're going to attach these two paper clips to the ends of the alligator clips. Cool, now they're attached. We're just about ready to get our fruit involved. I'm going to use a lemon and a kiwi fruit. Now what we need to do is get the ends of those cables with the paper clip and just insert them into the bits of the fruit. Now they're connected. Now when we touch the fruit with our hands, we should complete the circuit. And we do. Let's see what other fruit works. I've got some other fruits here to test. Let's try a strawberry. Connect it. Do you think the apple will work? No luck. What about an orange? Connected. Have a blueberry here? No luck on the blueberry. Lastly, I've got a potato. Potato is flowing. All right, let's connect the green and the black allocator clips to the other two pins. Cool, let's just test those connections. I've just gone and attached some more fruit to our alligator clips now. We've also got a strawberry that's on pin one and we've got the lemon that is on pin two. Over in Scratch, we can go to our micro bit categories and we can go find the hat blocks when the pins are connected. We can just duplicate this twice. So we have one for each pin and we can just go in and change which pin is connected. I want you to jump into the music extensions. Once you're in there, we're gonna drag out these play note blocks. Make sure you've got one for each pin and then go in and change the note. Cool. Then if we jump back over to Microbit, we can test out our sounds. So remember, you need to have your hand on the ground switch. Now I'm gonna play the potato. Let's play the strawberry. And now the lemon. Cool, you can go through and tap these and that's quite fun. We'll park this tutorial there. I've got some cards coming your way to show you some more interesting uses of our fruit. And you can also check out the description. It's time for a scratchy question and I want to know if you tried some more fruit or vegetables. Drop a comment in the section down below to let me know what worked or didn't work for you. Hey, thanks for checking out this fruit circuit tutorial. Like, subscribe, ring the bell if you're new around here and have a scout some of my other content on your screen right now. 
show your support for Surfing Scratcher by checking out exclusive content on my Patreon page, my funky red bubble gear, or by joining the mailing list. All links below in the description. But until then, I'm off to go find a wave. I'll catch you in the next one.